Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a really fun smoky eye. And I'm showing off these makeup wipes because they smell so good. I got them from the dollar store and I'm just going to use them today to wipe off my face because I've just been so sweaty today. And my air conditioning doesn't work so it's been hot. <laughs> but I'm going to wipe my face off to give me a blank clean canvas and we can get started. So I got inspired by e.l.f. Cosmetics and um, I decided to go in with a deeper concealer to put on my eyes. I really really want to get an eye primer that's different colors from the e.l.f. Cosmetic collection. But I am saving my money, but until then, we're going to use what we have. And I'm just blending that out because I want to give a deep... I want my base to be dark because we're doing a smoky eye. And um, this is going to help bring out those dark colors and really just give that contouring effect in your eye. So I've been going in my crease with a nice dark brown. Uh, I just want to build the color so I don't want to just do black right away. So I've never done this technique before but we're going to try it today. I have this really cool eyeshadow palette that's kind of like a paste almost and um, I'm just going to use it in the crease of my eye. I want it to do like a black and yellow type of theme even though it's coming out more of a gold because the yellow that I'm putting over top of it is more of a mustard color. Uh, but we're going for this gold and black, yellow and black look. Now we're taking our deepest black and we're going to put it over the lid and build it into our crease but also blend it in with the yellow. So this is the most crucial part of this entire process because this creates the full smoky eye. Yes, we have to blend that because it's very harsh. <laughs> so we're basically done. My eyes look great. We're just going to go ahead in my inner corner and put this beautiful gold on top of what we already created. It's just going to give it an extra pop because the the gold was looking kind of dull, you know, from the brown base. So we just had to brighten that up a little bit and blend it. I 
I just ran all the way to the basement just to get the specific blush, but it is so beautiful and worth it. Just look at how light and natural and pretty it is. Like it just kind of gives um, a very rosy color for someone of my complexion. It's not too much. It's not over the top. And that's what I like about it the most. So I'm going to go in with the highlighter stick and I don't usually use this because I don't like the harsh lines but we're going to blend it out as much as possible and just keep it very light. I don't want to look like I'm just a highlighter stick <laughs> myself. I want it to look very simple. I want it to reflect when I turn to different angles. lashes on because I'm not really a lash person well mainly I don't I'm just too busy like if I was going to an event that would be different but I'm in my house and I really don't feel like freaking <laughs> lashes but um mm, I'm not sure and the look is pretty much complete this is optional you really don't have to add lipstick or lip gloss to this look because it's already so, the eyes stand out so much, you know, so you don't really have to add it. But I'm just going to go a little above and beyond and add this really pretty peachy nude color. It kind of blends in with the hair. <laughs> it makes the hair make sense. finished look Yeah, this wig just is not working for me. So we're going to tie it back up because I literally look crazy. You know, just it's just not working. Yep, tying it back up. Well, that is the end, folks. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you do like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in another video. Bye.